This doesn't seem to be very secure on the bottom. Oh, I'm just stupid. Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are doing another Ipsy video. I was smart this time and did this sideways. I can't tell you how upset I was the last couple videos where I didn't do that. Actually, I think one of them where I didn't do that hasn't even gone up yet at this point, but it might before this video. I don't really know. I don't really know. But anyway, uh, like I said, today we're doing the Ipsy bag unboxing. Um, and I, I know that I used to do the whole thing where I would talk about last month's products and then we'd go into this month's products and then I'd do the try on portion. But I had a lot of people complaining that those videos were too long. I personally didn't mind them, but um, kind of let me know what you think genuinely. I want to know um, so that I can know if you want to know about last month's products and stuff like that. Because I don't know. I kind of like, I think that I, I don't know. I don't know. I like when different creators tell me about the products that they got the month before and how they worked and if they use them and stuff like that. But I do agree that it became like 40 minutes to an hour long. Uh, so it's all up to, to y'all what you think. Um, this is the bag for the month and uh, I love it. This is definitely a pride bag. We have our rainbows here and just like you know, being us. And I think the theme of this bag is BU. This particular bag is $25 a month. It's called the Ipsy Plus bag. It does come every single month and it has five full size items in there. Three you get to pick yourself, two they pick for you. Um, and I've been getting Ipsy for a long time and I really like it. If you end up liking this video and you don't yet have Ipsy, I will have a code down below where you can sign up and get some money off. And I also get some money back, so I really appreciate it. Um, I do not get paid from Ipsy. I don't get anything sent to me for free from Ipsy. Um, so you using those codes to sign up when you actually do like these videos and do want to try the products, uh, would be pretty great. All right, so let's get on into this bag. The first item that we have here is from Foxy Bay, no fox, <laughs> no fox given, uh, 12 in one magic daily leave in hair mask, plus biotin, sulfate and paraben free. I actually already used this today um, to, on my damp hair before starting this video. So I'll insert a clip of that right now. here with this. I think my hair already looks very, very healthy, silky, and smooth, but I can't fully tell because it's still wet. So we're going to have to see what happens once my hair dries and everything like that. Uh, the one thing I will complain about is this doesn't seem to be very secure on the bottom. Oh, I'm just stupid. Never mind. <laughs> the next thing we end up having here, I'm just reaching in the bag, um, is the very useless card, but the theme of this month is do you, uh, which definitely makes sense for pride month. The next thing I have here comes in this little bag and it looks like it's a couple of brushes. All right. So this is the rainbow Lux collection from Sliss Miss. And you can tell that it's them from their signature to little gems. I have so many of their beautiful um, brushes. I just, I'm looking over there and I don't see any of them right away, so I can't grab them. Um, but I think this is so cute. So there's five brushes here. We have like a big powder brush. This looks like a nice little crease. Oh, it says on the back what they are. Okay. So this is the powder brush. 
This is the just eyeshadow brush. This is the eye blender brush. This is the tapered face brush. This I'm gonna be really, I'm gonna really like this for taking off powder. And then this last product, this last brush here is the Precise Eye Brush. I really like the quality of their brushes and I always think they're so fun with the way they look. Um, this is just gorgeous, so yes. The next thing we have here is from Girlactic. And if anybody knows, I am literally obsessed with Girlactic and their eyeliners. I really love Girlactic eyeliners. So this is the Perfect Pair Eyeliner Duo. Let's open this on up. Oh, I forgot I was completely getting this, but so they are both in brown and this is the um, twist up brown under eye pencil. And then we have the same brown liquid eyeliner. Uh, definitely really cool. The next thing we have here is from Ofra Cosmetics. It's the Cool as a Cucumber Primer, Smoothing and Mattifying Moisturizing Primer. And I mean, just like with any primers, I'm sure you can use this under your makeup or you could also just use it on your own. Yeah, so it says apply a pump or two day or night for moisturizing or before the application of makeup as a base. Um, and the whole reason for this they're saying is to just cool off, which I think is perfect for the summertime to have in a subscription box. I really love Ofra, so um, I'm probably really going to love this. Um, and here is it out of the box. Look at this. Oh, that is such good. This is like an A plus for packaging. I like that it's completely clear so you can see how much product you have. And I also like that the top goes over most of the things. So this can look brand new for quite a while. That is some genius packaging. Um, I literally don't know why more products don't do stuff like this because it just gives it a nice um, vibe. I don't know, I really like it. Okay, and the last product that we have here is from We Are Fluid, and this is the Otherworldly Palette. Let's take this out here. The outside packaging is exactly the same as this one, maybe with just a little bit, with just a little bit of different coloring, but I think it says the same thing on both sides. The back says, navigate the world from your own true north. Take your look to an interstellar level with otherworldly combination of matte shimmers, foil, and glitter in versatile shades and bold colors. We Are Fluid is a queer beauty brand created to celebrate underrepresented faces, empower self-expression, and champion and champion gender expansive beauty. This, just, just their outtake on everything, I'm loving it. So when we open this up, we have eight shades and a really interesting mirror. I don't know if this mirror is actually like usable, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think I would use this mirror to apply all of my makeup, but it is the perfect size for just your eyes. Express your otherworldly self, make up the rules. And I really like that. Oh, look at you guys. Look, look, you can see yourselves. All right, and my favorite part about receiving any type of palette with a mirror, we gotta rate it. Five out of 10, I would say. I just really like the noise that it makes. So when it makes like a good peel, satisfying noise, that's what I like. The, the shades that we have here are Stalactic, Astral Halo, Corkle, Andromedaes, I probably said that wrong, Galati, Mercurial, Queer Star, and Blood Moon. I think that this is a super interesting color combination, but I also think that you can create some pretty different looks with this. You can either go 
with like a matte look or obviously a very shiny look, a very different look. I also like that it's a queer brand that didn't just go for the normal rainbow for pride. Um, I really like that. <laughs> Okay, so that was all five items. I actually really love this month because I think I'm actually going to get some good use out of all of the items. Um, now it's time for the try-on portion and you guys already saw me try out the Foxy Bay little hair moment and I don't think that I'm going to put on any face makeup. I don't know. I've really been deciding against it recently. Um, not because my skin has been looking great, but it's so hot out. I obviously have a little bit of color that I don't normally have. And my makeup right now, it just like, I feel like it washes me out. Even if I do like a lot of bronzing and a lot of uh, blush and stuff like that. But we didn't really get any items like blush or bronzer or uh, concealer or anything like that that I need to try out. So I'm just gonna go for a really basic look, um, but still be able to use every product this month. So I, I don't know, I hope y'all don't mind. All right, so the first thing I'm going in with is that little Oprah moment here. Oh goodness, okay. Oh, I really like that. It actually has a lock on the thing so that if you lose the top you could still travel with this um because it locks and you know a, a little bit comes out but I have a feeling that a little goes a long way so now it's back locked in place it smells just like fresh cucumber freshly cut cucumber I already primed my eyes, so I'm going to start getting into the palette. And I think the first thing I'm going to do is go in with this Stalactic shade, um, just as a base. is definitely way more yellowy than I had originally expected it to be, but we'll work with it. We're going to go into the shade Blood Moon and put that in the crease. Okay, and now we're gonna go into the shade Androm Andromedes, Andromedes, with our finger, like this, and just place that on Whew, the center of the lid. We also kind of pulled the leftover that's on our finger into the inner corner to give it that inner corner little shine. Next I'm going back into the shade Blood Moon and I'm going to put that along the lower lash line. The next thing we have to do is go in with the Girl Lactic Liner um, and I like the fact that it is brown because I'm really trying to go for a very natural look today.
All right, so this is the completed liner. I'm gonna go off camera, put on some mascara and some lip gloss or lipstick. I don't really know yet what I'm gonna do. Um, and we'll come back to talk about my final thoughts on everything. All right, and with that, we are all finished. Um, I'm so glad I got to use every product so I can genuinely tell y'all what products I liked and didn't like. But the big shocker is that there was no product that I really didn't like at this time. Um, I really, really liked the Foxy Bay leave-in conditioner or hair mask or whatever. I like that you don't need to wash it out because I'm too lazy to do stuff like that. Um, my hair is starting to dry and I just, I don't know. I feel like it looks good. Like I don't really know how to phrase it, I guess. Um, and then the brushes, I mean, they are great quality brushes. Um, I have so many of them in so many different styles and I really like the fact that this is the Rainbow Luxe collection. It was just perfect timing for everything. Um, the liner, I love Girlactic so much. I've actually, I haven't really talked to them via Instagram, but I've definitely, I've definitely tagged them and stuff and, and they have responded or commented and stuff like that. So, um, I just, I don't know. I just really, really like Girlactic and, um, the Ofra, I mean, I can't really tell how it works as a primer underneath my makeup, but I can definitely say that my face doesn't feel sticky at all. It definitely feels cool and hydrated. It smells really good and I still give an A plus for that packaging. It's just genius. Um, and then last but not least, the eyeshadow palette. I really, really liked it. I think it performed really well. I think my makeup looks very, very good. Uh, the one thing that I will say is I don't think it's something that I'd solely go traveling with because a lot of it are warm tones and warm colors and there's no very like light inner corner shade. I'm not very much of a gold inner corner shade type of person, even though I have that like that right now. Um, I just, it wouldn't be my go-to every day, every night type of thing. So if you are going to travel, I think you need a little bit more than just that palette. I think I'm specifically thinking of travel because I'm traveling in two days, <laughs> um, and I need to figure out what I'm going to pack. So I, I hate to say, but I don't think that will make the cut. But other than that, I think it's a really, really great palette, um, and I just, I love the theme of this month being pride. I just, oh, I just love when brands, um, they don't like, uh, I love when brands don't like outwardly do pride. You know what I'm saying? Because pride has definitely become just a money making thing. Um, and some brands don't do it correctly or companies don't really do it correctly in my opinion I think I think Ipsy did it very very well where um it definitely shows pride and it shows the rainbow and it shows acceptance and and queer and lgbtq plus everything without making it be in your face and I just I, I give you props for that Ipsy all right, just remember if you really, really liked this video and you think you want to try out Ipsy, I think $25 a month is beyond a good price for all of the products that you get. I would never, ever, ever be able to have the makeup that I have um, with the price points that they are if I didn't have Ipsy. So um, I thank Ipsy for that as well. Uh, and if you want to try Ipsy, again, it's only $25 a month for this bag. There's also the sample size bag, which is where I started for only $12 a month. Um, and it's definitely worth it. And I mean, it'll make you want more, but whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of rambling at this point, but my link to sign up will be down below. Um, also, if you haven't seen my Ipsy videos, I have, I think it's the most 
consistent video I have, but don't watch my last video because my last video before my last video was like three months before my last video, but before that it was pretty consistent. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and a comment down below telling me what you think. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell to know when I posted a video. Right now I do not have a posting schedule, so hitting that bell will let you know when I've posted a video. I love you guys so much and please know that the sky is never the limit. Bye! Oh, my God.